Good morning, everybody, or afternoon. It is almost afternoon here in the Dominican Republic. We are, we had a, a late start to our morning. I gotta find, I gotta find the right spot where I'm not gonna get burnt, and yet at the same time, you guys can see me. Uh, but we had a late kind of morning, just kind of enjoying, we both had a lot of sun yesterday, and just kind of enjoying the beauty and just, just the, there was this beautiful breeze coming into our room and just relaxing and enjoying that. I got up this morning, I did a little bit of, of manifestation journaling like I do every morning, but it was just incredibly quiet on the beach. Hold on, let me show you this beach. There, it's, it's popping now. There's lots of people on the beach, but I love our room. We have like an awesome view from our room, but. Oh, sorry guys, I kicked you. Didn't mean to kick you. Okay. Now you're all. This is what happens when I try to move you guys. All right, we're back. Okay. But yeah, so it was it was super quiet. I did all this manifestation work this morning. It was, it was so peaceful. And then I jumped back into bed for a few minutes and just relaxed. Uh, but it's been like kind of a, a slow moving, flowy kind of morning, but I did want to pop on here and chat with you guys before I go off and get some sun and then do my monetizing badass bosses training. There, you can still jump into the group if you desire. You just have to go to my website and you can find it under the programs page. You have only missed one day and you can totally catch up. So if you're still interested, jump over there. Um, but today I really was sitting and I'm watching kind of the last day and a half because we've been here about a day and a half. I'm watching everybody kind of rush around or go into this state of like checkout in on the resort. There's like there's people who are rushing around. Oh, gotta be here. Gotta be there. Gotta be there. And then there's also this this level of like checking out that is happening. I'm noticing. There's these people and they're they're off and they're just drinking. They're drinking to release. They're drinking to be able to relax. They're drinking to allow themselves to kind of just totally disconnect. And I'm not saying that every single person here is doing that, but I am noticing a lot of people who are drinking to like almost oblivion and just just trying to escape. And it's sad. It's sad that their vacation, they're almost in this excess of, I have to get everything in. I have to eat all the food I can. I have to drink all the rum I can. And I'm not saying that you can't enjoy the rum and you can't enjoy the food, but it is this like scarcity mindset. And it got me actually thinking about our lives because our vacation is just a microcosm of our life. And even myself, I noticed what I'm going to move and also try not to flash you guys on Facebook. There, that's better. Um, but I even noticed it within myself of like, okay, so we have this many days. I want to get this in. I want to get that in. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I noticed myself at this afternoon starting to like do a little bit of like clamping down, which is actually what I wrote my article about yesterday about like not doing that, about really being in the flow, being in the openness, just allowing what, what needs to come through instead of going into a, a scarcity mode of, do are we gonna have enough time? Are we gonna get enough like hangout time? Are we gonna get enough work time? Are we gonna get this done? Are we gonna get that done? Which is stressful and tiring. And that is that is draining. It is incredibly draining when you go into that scarcity mindset. And it is important to kind of like check yourself. So like I felt that coming up and I went like, okay like that's cool what needs to happen will happen what needs to come through is exactly what will come through however the beauty the beauty and the abundance and the blessings of even just like me sitting here won't come through if that is my mindset and i see this again in in your life so if if you have to go on vacation to to forget your life or you have to go on vacation and you're in this state of like pulling 
you know, drinking all the alcohol, like in in excess, like you're finding yourself not in, in abundance of like appreciating the abundance and the beauty and oh, look at everything that, that I can do, everything I can taste, everything I can experience. That is different than trying to, to almost grasp at everything and like get as much alcohol in because of course you can't drink. I mean, you can't drink at home. That's not, I mean, you can't, you never get to drink at home or you never get to eat at home. Instead of just going like, no, I'm going to savor these moments, these things. And like, yeah, I get like this, like this morning we had this beautiful buffet and it wasn't, I saw people like piling their plates, like full of stuff. Instead of going like, I'm just going to sit and enjoy these little pieces, like these items of food and I'm going to really enjoy it and I'm going to really taste it and I'm going to really experience it and really feel it and get into that mode. Instead we get into the scarcity and we're, we're piling our plates full. We do the same thing even when not on vacation. I'm using vacation as kind of a metaphor for our lives, but we do the same thing in our, in our lives. We try to grasp. At, at things and that is telling us that if we are in that scarcity mode and we're trying to almost do an excess that means that we're trying to fill and that is the external pieces of alcohol food drugs even even the like clamping down on relationships and time is not going to fill you it's not going to fill you because what you're you're going at it with this energy of i need i need i need instead of I want to experience, I want to open to, I want to allow, I want this to flow through. I want to just be in soul alignment and core and really, really go with that. Instead, we end up going into the scarcity of mode of there's not going to be enough. And what ends up happening with that is there's not enough. There's not enough. And I say that because that is your mindset, that is your belief. So what ends up happening is there's not enough and you're in this negative mood or you're sending that vibration out and then that is exactly what you're pulling in. There's not gonna be enough time. There's not gonna be enough money. There's not gonna be enough love. There's not gonna be enough whatever it is you're desiring. Instead of set, you know, visualizing something you want or getting into the, the flow and the feeling, yes, the feels, getting into those feels. I know sometimes I sound like a broken record going on and on and on about getting into the feeling, but it all is about that feeling. And scarcity, what scarcity does is just clamp us down. And so we're either trying to feel in that way or we escape. And I think that is, I forgot exactly what I named this, the title of this live, but it's either this like scarcity of like constantly filling your plate or it's a total checking out because you're not filling yourself at home. You're restricting your life. And that is, that is oh, because I worked in eating disorders for so long, I think I saw so many people who were restricting when it came to food or restricting in the way when it came to sex and things like that, that I think we don't realize that we do the same things in our general life. P perfectly healthy people are doing the exact same thing they're restricting. They're restricting, they're restricting, they're restricting, and what ends up happening is you start to try to fill with things that really don't fill you. They don't, that you, you are grasping at kind of straws and trying to fill, and you end up restricting your life, and then finding almost, hold on, to eat and drink, what a purpose. Ah, and so, yeah, I think we, we end up restricting or we end up going into total binge mode. This is why people come to an island and they end up sleeping the entire vacation or they end up eating and drinking the, like themselves sick or they end up sitting in the sun till they're sick. Uh, and I think that we set, un it, it all comes down to two, setting unrealistic expectations, setting expectations instead of just going with it. And I, even as I speak this, like I can look at myself in the same way. And yes, I know how to kind of move through things a little bit easier and I can reckon, I call my shit really quickly as opposed to, to somebody who's not used to doing their work. But we all get into this place. And so it is recognizing and go, oh, I'm getting into scarcity. I'm getting into a state of, you know, 
almost going into expectation and not expectation of expectation of like okay I'm going to we're gonna have this connection I see all these couples out here and they're like they're like we will connect on this vacation well you can't force that you can't force that that's a flow this energy that's being present that's allowing in your body and so really today I want you to look at in your life where are you both trying to avoid and really trying to kind of check out and then also where are you not going with the flow where are you in a state of scarcity and so trying to grasp because just like if I was to go down go down to the beach right now and grasp at sand it would flow right through me instead of if I just cupped it and I opened it and I allowed it to just sit in my hand I would, would hold more of the sand in my hands than if I tried to grasp at it it's going to flow right through through my very palms we can't grasp at love we can't grasp at relationship we can't grasp at our joy and our happiness joy and happiness and abundance and feeling fulfilled does not come from a state of grasping it comes from a state of opening to it and allowing it so so look at where you are not opening and allowing where you are allowing your expect, I'm sorry, I see like kind of <laughs> see something in my periphery. Um, but where are you not opening and allowing in your life? And look at the times when you do get a chance, like think back to the last time you got a chance to relax or really just like go on vacation or take an afternoon. Were you in a state of expectation of self were you in a state of scarcity with self of oh I'm not gonna have enough time to get enough relaxation in because that sounds really relaxing that sounds really relaxing I'm not in a state to get enough relaxation in or there's not enough days or there's not enough time or there's not enough money so look at those really think back to that time that last time and see were you really able to relax in and just enjoy the moment be present in the moment wherever the moment was because it because I truly believe if we're in alignment, then the moment is going to be perfect. The moment is going to be just what we need it to be. So, on that note, I'm going to let you guys go. Because I have some sun and some beach to go catch. Um, but I do hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, as always, I always appreciate your comments, your shares, your questions. It's always appreciated. Um, if you're still interested in monetizing badass bosses, jump over and get that, get into the group now. It is all recorded, so you will still get all the content. And we still have two more live trainings together and four videos, so you're not miss, you haven't missed much. So jump in there now. We have lots of audios, journaling, people in there already seeing some, some good progress. So join me over there, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another Addison the Leash. Love you guys. Go be fierce, fiery, and find that fulfilling life you so deserve. Love you. Bye.